Now, these tiny little vibrations are caused by dozens of grooves which are cut into the discs, you see, and they go all the way up the arm to the great big horn, which amplifies it. You know... Make it louder! Like this! Et voilà! Sound! Good eye. Just a little snake. <clears throat> it's a lizard. Yes. Uh, no, uh, sound. Uh, uh, how, can, uh, how can I uh, describe it to you? Uh, sound is like a, um, big waves at a beach, you see, because sound travels in waves, just like light. I'm not going too fast for you, am I? No, light travels as particles. Light travels as particles and waves. No, it's not possible. How can light travel simultaneously in two different ways? Well, space tells matter how to move, and matter tells space how to curve. Mamselle, uh, you must be a, a student of the sciences. Yes, I'm to study at the Sydney University. Oh, fascinating. You've got a scholarship. Oh, well, not exactly. I won a prize. Ah, the old high school science prize, eh? The Nobel Prize, 1903, applied physics. Oh, really? You see, I think that if we could control the ionizing radiation of the spontaneous disintegration of uranium isotopes, we could harness the forces of nature. Splitting atoms. You've heard of the theory to split the nucleus of an atom? Split one once. You've already split the atom? Well, it was only a Tasmanian beer atom. <laughs> but? That one atom was enough to blow the old man's shit apart. No, really. Atomic power. C'est incroyable. Oh, you must tell me more about your research. Oh, but first, let me introduce myself. My name is Marie. Marie Curie. Albert. Albert Einstein. I say, you do realize this is a first class carriage, do you? Conductor, there's a bushman in my carriage. So? Well, you see, I worked out that energy equals mass times the square of the speed of light. Oh, C'est incroyable. 